Zero accounting software, comparative profit and loss P&L income statement. Get ready to be an office hero with Zero. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in our custom zero homepage. We set up in a prior presentation, holding down control, scrolling up a bit to get to that 175% zoom in. Opening up the demo file, doing so with the reset button, resetting the data and opening the demo at the same time. We're gonna be duplicating a few tabs to be putting reports in, the major financial statement reports that is. That being the balance sheet and the income statement. So I'm going to right click on the tab up top, duplicate it, right click on the tab up top and duplicate it again. We do this every time. So I'm going fairly fast. Middle tab, we're going to go to the accounting drop down and look at that balance sheet standard report. Tab to the right, accounting drop down. We want the income statement this time. Back to the tab to the right, drop down. We want the custom date range for the end of 2022 end of that date range there we have it let's update that report back to the tab to the right and we're now going to be focusing in on creating a custom income statement a comparative type of income statement so i'm going to keep the standard one open here right click on this tab again duplicate it again so now we've got the balance sheet standard income statement and another income statement that we can play with and adjust. So uh, we did this on the balance sheet. We're not gonna go through all of the different kind of things that and tools you can use to format the reports because uh, they're gonna be similar for many different reports, but we do wanna do some of the major kind of formats of an income statement because the income statement is the other a major report. So you've got the similar tools up top with the filtering tools and so on. Now we're going to try to compare two periods on the income statement. So you have a couple options to do so. We've got the compare items up top. We can compare one period this way. And so if I do that, now we've got uh, 2022, 2021, and I can hit the drop down again and say that we want, you know, two years. I can do multiple years, of course. And so now we've got two years. If I want to do a month by month type of comparison, possibly I hit the drop down over here and I want to customize it on the range just for December. Let's look at just the December data, December 1st to December 31st, let's say, and then update that. So now we've got December, November, October. You could have uh, multiple time frames, possibly 12 months even, for example, in terms of a month by month comparison, update that report. So we have a whole lot of different options as we saw similar to uh, the balance sheet. And there's, you can imagine a whole lot of different options that you could do now that you have these comparative components when you're providing reports to a, to a client. You could do a month by month comparison, a quarter by quarter comparison, this month compared to the prior month, this quarter compared to the prior month and so on and so forth. So what we want to do now is, is try to make a, a two period comparison and then a change between those two periods. And I'll do it a month by month comparison because we saw that uh, in the balance sheet side. So I'm going to say, let's go back and this is going to be for December. That looks good. Let's say we want two months. Let's say, let's say one month, one month. Okay. So that'll give me my comparison up top. So now we've got December and November, the most current month is first. Now I would like to see a change or a difference between the two months. Also note that in some cases, because this is an income statement as opposed to a balance sheet, it would also make sense possibly to add up the two months, right? Because you might, you might want to say, hey, here's my year to date numbers, month by month broken out, and then add up to the total up to that time frame. 
you wouldn't normally have that kind of situation on the balance sheet when you're doing comparative reports because the balance sheet is as of a point in time. So that's where you have this distinction between what kind of report are you working with and how these kind of formats might differ. Let's just look at that first, just so we can see it. If I go in the page layout, I might say, hey, look, maybe I wanna do it this way. I'm gonna pull the December over here. So now I've got November 1st and then December. And then maybe you want another column here that's gonna be totaling everything up. So I can add a formula column and I can say in that formula column, I want to say, take the November numbers plus the December numbers. And that'll be my total, total. So that'll be total. And then update the layout. So, so now you've got a nice breakout here of month by month, the, the earliest month first then the later month. And then you've got your total on uh, the right hand side. Now I'm going to save this as a custom report so that I can try to make another one. So I'm going to then say, I'm going to put this as a custom and I'm going to say this is comparative income statement or something like that. I'll save that here. And now I want to make another one and I'll start from the scratch. So I'm going to go back to the income statement, right click on the income statement, duplicate it. I'm going to pull that tab to the right. And so now let's see if we can make changes to this one. And so what we'll do here is I'm going to change the date again. Let's go down to the custom date range and go from January uh, to December, not, not January. Let's go from custom date range. Let's go from December 1st, just one month to December 31st and update that. Okay. And then we're going to do one month to see November and December. So now we've got our comparison, December, and November. Now I'm going to take the difference. I'm going to add the difference to the right and a percentage change. So I'm going to edit the layout and edit the layout. And so now I'm going to add another column for the difference between the two, adding a column. Let's do a formula column and clicking on the column. So I'm just going to take then December minus uh, November. And then we want to say that's going to be the change, the change or difference. Let's say just difference, difference, if I could spell it. And then I'll copy that. I'm going to say, let's add another column. And we're going to say, we're going to say, add a column that's going to be a formula again. And the formula is going to be the difference divided by the prior period, November. And so that's our horizontal analysis. I want that to show in the format of a percent. So I'm going to call this the percent uh, difference. We'll say on the column name and then let's update it. See if it does what we expect. I'm going to pull out the trusty calculator while it's thinking there. So let's pull out the trusty calculator. Okay. So now we've got th these two. So we've got 2008.74 minus the 8114.15. That gives us the difference. So we could say in a performance perspective, as opposed to the balance sheet, which is where we stand at any particular time from a performance perspective, we made more money in November than December. So we've got that negative difference. I can divide that then by the prior period, which is going to be November. 8114.15 and that's a 75.24 uh, percent decrease then this is a common measurement tool that we really want to be able to to have it's common to to present this way because if i'm trying to benchmark or compare say to other companies generally larger companies because i'm trying to mimic their success then i can't really just do so by looking at the dollar amounts and the dollar changes because they make more money than we do. What well, we can say, hey, look, what did the industry do in total in terms of their percentage increases and decreases in sale? Are we online with them in terms of the industry standards or the companies that we are benchmarking? Do we have any kind of competitive advantage? Why are we off or different than, than the benchmark in terms of percentage increases and decreases? So very important you know, concept to be able to to be able to, to run comparisons and then of course we can do our change up top and say this is a 
comparative income statement and we can change we can say that maybe i want to get rid of the decimals on that which we've been doing customarily and that'll clean it up a bit and so so there it is so so clearly this kind of comparison we can compare the current year to the prior year the current month to the prior month the current quarter to the prior quarter the current quarter to the prior quarter of the prior year right we could we could think about how to construct all those different kind of comparisons which might be uh, useful types of tools. And then we can also think of these kind of comparative reports on the income statement where we might wanna have multiple months or multiple quarters. And not only have the multiple quarters, you might have quarter one, two, three, four, and then the total summing up all four quarters, which gives you the yearly totals for the entire year. So yeah, again, you have a whole lot of, of different reports once you start mixing and maxing combinations and comparisons either summing up or or taking the difference of different periods and when you think about presenting the data particularly like a bookkeeper i'm thinking at the end of a month the end of a quarter the end of a year you can save these reports save your balance sheet reports and and be able to pr pr produce them easily and then think about how you're going to batch them and present them because the presentation of them is half the battle even though we're not fighting anyone it's just a gi joe term here slang that's old but that presentation is half the job so you want to you want to make it look nice even though i'm not an expert on that but in any case that's that we'll go into more income statements in the future